How's it going everyone? Next on the list for the cleaner degreaser reviews is the LA's Totally Awesome. Um, this was a highly requested item and where I get it, it's actually found in two aisles in the same store. Um, in the home cleaning section, it'll come in this bottle and you get to the auto section, it'll come in this one right here. They pretty much seem exactly the same, one's clear, one's yellow. Um, and as you'll see here, they, they pretty much act the same, they react the same. Uh, as for the labels, they pretty much read the same as all the other ones, but this one here has no limitations as to um, what it can't come in contact with on your car's surface. Um, it says safe for all auto surfaces, so let's give this a shot. Again, it's LA's totally awesome cleaner and degreaser. Okay, we're gonna start off doing a little bit of light duty work. We have, um, we have a cloth seat with, uh, it's lightly soiled, a couple spots here and there. We're gonna start there, see how it works on that. Okay, we're gonna use the auto degreaser bottle. Um, this is part of their street appeal line. They have chemicals for home, laundry, and auto. For testing, we're gonna simply apply the product, lightly agitate with a soft bristled brush, mop clean and see how it worked from there. For a little background, LA's Totally Awesome operates out of Arkansas and California. They've been in operation since 1983 and distribute throughout the whole country. And we'll come in, take a closer look and it, um, it's done everything we would need it to do. There's no, no dirt left over, no spots, no staining. It did a good job with the light duty work. So we're gonna step it up a little bit. We're going to see how it works on areas that are a little bit more soiled. Um, this looks like a little bit of oil got on the floor mat. We're gonna see how it takes care of that. We'll simply apply it to the area We'll uh, let it dwell for a couple seconds, we'll agitate, and mop. Immediately upon contact, it starts to break down the stain. It starts to dissipate it. Um, so as we come in and take a closer look, the, the stain is, is beginning to break down and lifting a little bit. So we'll agitate it, we'll mop, and see if there's anything left of the stain at all. Doing a little bit further research and checking out reviews, it seems to be um, used quite often as a bug remover on the front of vehicles in the uh, spring and summertime. I've also seen it used for light duty cleanup, um, rubber floor mats, weather tech mats. I haven't seen a lot on heavy grease as to how it, um, it breaks down and lifts heavy grease, so I have the perfect test for the end of this video for that. For the testing here today, I did not dilute uh, whatsoever, used it full strength. If you are going to use it for an insect remover for the front of vehicles, um, maybe dilute it 4 to 1. And if you're going to try that in direct sunlight, flush immediately afterwards and you'll be, um, you'll be good to go. So as we use a microfiber to mop up the area and dry it, uh, after first pass, the product seemed to have removed the stain somewhere around 90, 96-97%. Not bad for its first attempt. Step it up a little bit further, grabbed a tire that's been setting out for a year or two. Uh, the white walls are not only dirty, but underneath that we still have the blue film from when the tire was purchased new. Okay, we're gonna put the home cleaner on this side. We're gonna take a look and see if these are uh, slightly different chemicals or they're exactly the same and maybe just uh, changed a little bit and relabeled. We'll put the auto degreaser on this side. We'll come in and take a look and see if it's breaking down and lifting that dirt. What we wanna see and what we're looking for or if the suds are turning a, uh, have a brown tinge to it or turning 
uh, dark brown or black, that means it's breaking down, it's lifting the dirt from the surface of the tire. To me, both sides, the home cleaner and the auto degreaser look pretty much exactly the same so far. And at this point, after a minute or so, it's actually starting to turn a little brown. It's starting to break the, the dirt down, starting to lift it. We're going to agitate the white walls on both sides and see, uh, see if it takes away the dirt and the blue film, if it does at all. Bear with me here as I quick rinse off the brush so we don't cross contaminate. At full strength, you do get uh, a ton of suds just at the, the, the slightest agitation. So we'll see how the, uh, they take care of these white wall lettering. We'll gently rinse, we'll dry with forced air, we'll come in and take a look and see how it's done. At least we could see the lettering again. We didn't spend a whole lot of time at it. Um, usually that, that can sometimes take steel wool or something quite a bit more aggressive to get it perfectly clean. The only thing agitated was the lettering as we come in for a closer look. It's gotten some of it, maybe 50% of it, but a lot of the blue film is still remaining. A little bit of dirt here and there, but not too bad just for spraying and rinsing. I've definitely seen a lot worse at this stage of the testing, but uh, I don't believe it's a hardcore um, super strength degreaser to begin with. We will, however, put that to the test. I have a casing here that has about a quarter inch of grease and oil caked on it. So we want to spray it on and we want to, we want to see the lifting action. We want to see how it breaks down some of this caked on grime. We don't expect it to uh, lift it off and just melt it away, you know, at the snap of a finger here. All I'm looking for is um, just a little bit of the oil and grease and caked on grime. Uh, being broken down and dripping off the casing. I see that being done slightly here, but not a whole lot. Um, I'm agitating just to help it along a little bit, but I can tell you some of the um, hardcore degreasers like the Spray Nines and, and Super Cleans would have had a puddle of broken down oil and grease below the casing already. So bear with me for a minute. I'm gonna grab something. We're gonna give it a rinse and then take a look at it, see if it's uh, made a difference at all here. So there is a bit of a difference. It didn't clean it completely. Um, kind of a midline clean. I would give this a C plus, B minus. All right, so the uh, LA's totally awesome cleaner and degreasers um, function pretty much the same. Small differences, clear, has a clean scent. Um, yellow dye in it or whatever they um, add to it to give it color but it has no scent whatsoever um, I'm gonna put a link down below for the product it is um, a good full step below the top uh, cutters and when it comes to being aggressive but it will function pretty well on um, most interior cleaning that you would have to do um, it does have some capability to cut through thick uh, grime, grease, and oil. Uh, it would be slow at it, and you'd have to use um, many passes for sure. Like I said, it seems like it's one full step below um, the, the full strength, the uh, big boy super degreasers and cleaners. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate. Uh, 
Uh, if you have something new you'd like to add to the, the list for the cleaner and degreaser reviews, please don't be afraid to add it. Brian from Apex Detail, we'll catch you next time.